Eleven and zero. We were ready to make a move. My future looked bright. Nice place. The gym's closed, fellas. We didn't come here to work out. What's going on? We came to have a little talk. They were McQueen's thugs, but they were cops. Dirty cops on McQueen's payroll. Wrong fucking move, kid. Wrong fucking move. Hmm. Have you ever seen the show called Dragon Ball Z? If a lot of you haven't seen it, I'm just gonna explain it to you. It was a cartoon show growing up when I was a little kid. And I used to watch the show all the time. And looking back on it, there was always a message when you're watching movies and you're watching TV shows. There's always a message behind it that sometimes you need to hear because sometimes God sets up that way to where you need to hear a message by any kind of way. That's how God mysteriousness works. You know, He works in mysterious ways. And in the show Dragon Ball Z, Goku was training his son Gohan to become stronger. And he would always tell his son, he kept pressuring on him, your power comes to response to a need, not desire. You know, you have to create that need and you have to use the pain of loss. And what he was trying to teach him was he kept pushing on because he was trying to push it on him to understand that you have gone through a lot you have been pushed to the limit you will keep being pushed you are experiencing so much pain in your life you are experiencing so many things and now the pressure is on you to try to defeat an enemy that is so strong that you don't even think you can win and he kept pushing it on to make him stronger and stronger and he was like I hope you're ready for this and that's the message for today is called the pain of loss. A lot of us have lost somebody in our lives. A lot of us have, a lot of us have gone through some stuff. We have been bullied. We have been treated terribly. We have been pushed to our limit. We have become frustrated and we sit in our own pain of depression, sadness. We sit in our own pain, but we have yet to use our pain of loss. And what I mean by use our pain of losses means that we fail to use that pain to motivate us. We fail to use that pain to push us to greater heights because at the end of the day, we really don't want to stay in that pain. So I feel like the pain of loss is something that we need to use. And once we use it to become stronger, we can let that pain go and press forward. Because I feel like God can push us to that limit but he's trying to teach us also it says in the bible it's always a lesson in our pain so you have lost somebody you become into you come into this great depression because you lost someone that's very close to you and at the end of the day when they leave this world they still want the best for you so yeah we have been pushed to our limits we have been talked about we have been treated badly we have been bullied by so many things and yet we still fail to use our pain of loss because we stay stuck in our own pain our own sadness our own depression we stay stuck in it like we cannot win the enemy wants us to stay in that pain the enemy wants us to keep looking sad keep looking angry keep being mad at the world for what it, how how it has treated us just because we are surrounded by negativity. But what you have to understand is that we have to continue to push, we have to continue to use that pain of loss. You have to 
the power comes into response to a need. That means God has get, given you the power to overcome, but you have to understand the lesson that He is giving you through that pain. You have to understand that the more you, the more you continue to sit still and be sad, the more you are not going to hear God. But God is closer to you. But you just got to realize it for yourself. And once you realize it for yourself, push yourself. Push yourself to greater heights, motivate yourself, surround yourself by people who understand that pain is not easy to overcome. It is hard, it is difficult. Pain is always gonna be difficult in our lives, but you have to use the pain of loss. When we feel like everything, all hope is lost, that's when God has come closer to us. That's when you feel God the strongest, but you fail to feel him is when you ignore what he is trying to teach you. Once you ignore his word, once you ignore everything that goes on when the pain piles up on you so much you forget about God in an instant sometimes you ask God for patience sometimes we ask God to help us through it but we still fail to ask God for help in the right way we still forget to put in the work when God when God is trying to help us through our pain but the pain of law simply simply means we have to push ourselves through everything everything that we go through in our lives we have to keep getting up in the morning we have to keep pushing we have to keep doing what we are destined to do we have to keep pushing fast we have to keep pushing hard that is the pain of loss that God wants us to that God wants us to learn continue to push yourself continue to work hard Continue to use the pain of loss. And once you use that pain to make you stronger, once you have endured that pain, once you have got your reward, once you have make yourself once you have felt better, then you will start to understand what God tries to teach you every single day. It's time to use the pain of loss. Your power comes in response to a need, not a desire. So what you need to do. Is stop sitting still feeling sorry for yourself. Stop taking pity on yourself. Get up and go do what you are destined to do. Don't let pain. Don't let pain drive you to drive you to depression. Don't let pain drive you to a place where you don't want to be. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to stay there. He pushing for greater. Your power is already in there. It's time to bring it out. Use the pain of loss. As long as they've been placing up gloves, fighters have looked forward to this. A championship fight. Round one is underway. Well, we're just underway here, and you can already sense the type of fight we're going to have. These are two guys that have flat out said it. They have come to get the other man. And they're not liars. What's the worst kind of situation you can get yourself into when you're fighting a guy who you know has superior hands? You start thinking too much, Joe. You start second guessing yourself. You start being a little hesitant. Solid left. Big shot. Great combination. He is down. continue on and just like that it's over knockout in the first round well we said that he starts with a lazy jab the problem is the other guy had a good snappy right hand unable to beat the count a first round knockout in the books now let's go up to the ring to make it official By way of the knockout, you're the champion of the 